What's inside of a DC motor? Well, let's find out. These DC hobby motors are pretty easy to take apart, so let's go ahead and get this one broke down and look at the parts inside, and I'll explain what they are. So, the first one I'd like to talk about is the stator, which is, in this case, two permanent magnets, and it's called that because it stays. Next up is called the rotor, which is this laminated disc with wraps of coil wire around it, and they rotate. Attached on the end of that is the commutator, which is best thought of as a rotating switch with three points of contact. Next up, you've got the brushes, which touch the commutator and provide electrical current to it. Those are those two little contacts you see there. Now, to break this down visually, I'm going to draw a picture here. You can see that we have our motor encased in metal on the outside. Then we have our two permanent magnets providing the stator. Then you have in the middle, we have our rotor, which then gets spun around through an electromagnetic action. And then the commutator in there is acting as a contact points for those electromagnets. Now the most basic form of this, and broken down as simple as it can get, is taking two permanent magnets, just like what we had in our motor, and putting a single coil of wire in the center of it. That single coil of wire then has an electrical current run through it via the brushes, and as it spins around, it is generating a magnetic field, and that's why it gets pulled towards the magnets. As you can see here, it spins. Now the neat part about this is that the reverse is true as well. If you were to take a motor, in this case an AC motor, which is why we're going to be putting it on an AC voltage, just like in our previous videos, and you were to spin it, you will get a voltage and current out of that. So in this case, I'm just grabbing a pair of pliers here and I'm giving it a crank. I was able to get it up to about 100 here on the next spin, which was actually pretty good. And that's the basic principles of motors and generators, guys.